Section six of Dramatized Passages from the Old Testament. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Story of Moses, Part One, Exodus, Chapter Three to Chapter Six, Verse Thirteen. Narration read by Beth Thomas. God, read by David Olson. Moses, read by Howie J. Watts. Aaron, read by Larry Wilson. Israelites, read by Esther Ben Simonides. Egyptians, read by Lydia. Pharaoh, read by Dalde Pignoli. Jethro, read by Jared Hess. Zipporah, read by Lydia. Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father in law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the back side of the desert, and came to the mountain of God, even to Horeb. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush is not burnt. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him from out of the midst of the bush, and said, Moses! Moses! And he said, Here am I. And he said, Draw not nigh hither, put off thy shoes from off thy feet, for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters. For I know their sorrows, and I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians, and to bring them up out of that land unto a good land and a large unto a land flowing with milk and honey, unto the place of the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites. Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel has come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppress them. Come now therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And Moses said unto God, Who am I, that I should go unto Pharaoh, and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? And he said, Certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee that I have sent thee. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, Ye shall serve God on this mountain. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, The God of your fathers hath sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am, has sent me unto you. And God said moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. Go, and gather the elders of Israel together, and say unto them, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob, appeared unto me, saying, I have surely visited you, and upon that which is done to you in Egypt. And I have said, I will bring you up out of the affliction of Egypt, unto the land of the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, 
unto a land flowing with milk and honey and they shall hearken to thy voice and thou shalt come thou and the elders of israel unto the king of egypt and ye shall say unto him the lord god of the hebrews hath met with us and now let us go we beseech thee three days journey into the wilderness that we may sacrifice to the lord our god and i am sure that the king of egypt will not let you go no not by a mighty hand and i will stretch out my hand and smite egypt with all my wonders which i will do in the midst thereof and after that he will let you go and i will give this people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty but every woman shall borrow of her neighbor and of her that sojourneth in her house jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment and ye shall put them upon your sons and upon your daughters and ye shall spoil the egyptians and moses answered and said but behold they will not believe me nor hearken unto my voice for they will say the lord hath not appeared unto thee and the lord said unto him what is that in thine hand and he said a rod and he said cast it on the ground and he cast it on the ground and it became a serpent and moses fled from before it and the lord said unto moses put forth thine hand and take it by the tail and he put forth his hand and caught it and it became a rod in his hand that they may believe that the lord god of their fathers the god of abraham the god of isaac and the god of jacob hath appeared unto thee and the lord said furthermore unto him put now thine hand into thy bosom and he put his hand into his bosom and when he took it out behold his hand was leprous as snow and he said put thy hand into thy bosom again and he put his hand into his bosom again and plucked it out of his bosom and behold it was turned again as his other flesh and it shall come to pass if they will not believe thee neither hearken to the voice of the first sign that they will believe the voice of the latter sign and it shall come to pass if they will not believe also these two signs neither hearken unto thy voice that thou shalt take of the water of the river and pour it upon the dry land and the water which thou takest out of the river shall become blood upon the dry land and moses said unto the lord o oh my lord i am not eloquent neither heretofore nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant but i am slow of speech and of a slow tongue and the lord said unto him who hath made man's mouth or who maketh the dumb or deaf or the seen or the blind have not i the lord now therefore go and i will be with thy mouth and teach thee what thou shalt say and he said o my lord send i pray thee by the hand of him whom thou wilt send and the anger of the lord was kindled against moses and he said is not aaron the levite thy brother i know that he can speak well and also behold he cometh forth to meet thee and when he seeth thee he will be glad in his heart and thou shalt speak unto him and put words in his mouth and i will be with thy mouth and with his mouth and will teach you what ye shall do and he shall be thy spokesman unto the people and he shall be even he shall be to thee instead of a mouth and thou shalt be to him instead of god and thou shalt take his rod in thine hand wherewith thou shalt do signs and moses went and returned to jethro his father-in-law and said unto him let me go i pray thee and return unto my brethren which are in egypt and see whether they be yet alive and jethro said to moses go in peace 
and the Lord said unto Moses in Midian, Go, return into Egypt, for all the men are dead which sought thy life. And Moses took his wife and his sons, and set them upon an ass, and he returned to the land of Egypt. And Moses took the rod of God in his hand, and the Lord said unto Moses, When thou goest to return into Egypt, see that thou do all those wonders before Pharaoh, which I have put in thine hand. But I will harden his heart, that he shall not let the people go. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. And I say unto thee, Let my son go, that he may serve me. And if thou refuse to let him go, behold, I will slay thy son, even thy firstborn. And it came to pass, by the way in the inn, that the Lord met him, and sought to kill him. Then Zipporah took a sharp stone, and cut off the foreskin of her son, and cast it at his feet, and said, Surely a bloody husband art thou to me. So he let him go, and then she said, A bloody husband thou art. Because of the circumcision. And the Lord said to Aaron, Go into the wilderness to meet Moses. And he went, and met him in the mount of God, and kissed him. And Moses told Aaron all the words of the Lord who had sent him, and all the signs which he had commanded him. And Moses and Aaron went and gathered together all the elders of the children of Israel. And Aaron spoke the words which the Lord had spoken unto Moses, and did the signs in the sight of the people. And the people believed, and when they heard that the Lord had visited the children of Israel, and that he had looked upon their affliction, then they bowed their heads and worshipped. And afterwards Moses and Aaron went in, and told Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Let my people go, that they may hold a feast unto me in the wilderness. And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord, that I should obey his voice to let Israel go? I know not the Lord, neither will I let Israel go. And they said, The God of the Hebrews has met with us. Let us go, we pray thee, three days' journey into the desert, and sacrifice unto the Lord our God. Lest he fall upon us with pestilence, or with the sword. And the king of Egypt said unto them, Wherefore do ye, Moses and Aaron, let the people from their works? Get you unto your burdens. And Pharaoh said, Behold, the people of the land now are many, and ye make them rest from their burdens. And Pharaoh commanded the same day the taskmasters of the people and their officers, saying, Ye shall no more give the people straw to make brick as heretofore. Let them go and gather straw from themselves. And the tale of the bricks, which they did make heretofore, ye shall lay upon them. Ye shall not manage aught thereof, for they be idle. Therefore they cry, saying, Let us go and sacrifice to our God. Let their more work be laid upon the men, that they may labor therein, and let them not regard vain words. And the taskmasters of the people went out, and their officers, and they spake to the people, saying, Thus saith Pharaoh, I will not give you straw. Go ye, get you straw where ye can find it, yet not aught of your work shall be diminished. So the people were scattered abroad throughout all the land of Egypt to gather stubble instead of straw, and the taskmasters hasted them, saying, Fulfill your works, your daily tasks, as when there was straw. And the officers of the children of Israel, which Pharaoh's taskmasters had set over them, were beaten, and demanded, Wherefore have ye not fulfilled your task in making brick both yesterday and today, as heretofore? Then the officers of the children of Israel came and cried unto Pharaoh, saying, Wherefore dealest thou thus with thy servants? There is no straw given unto thy servants. And they say to us, Make brick, and behold, thy servants are beaten, but the fault is in thine own people. But he said, Ye are idle, ye are idle. Therefore ye say, Let us go and do sacrifice to the Lord. Go therefore now and work, for there shall no straw be given you, yet ye shall deliver the tale of bricks. And the officers of the children of Israel did see that they were in an evil case, after it was said, Ye shall not minish aught from your bricks or your daily task. And they met Moses and Aaron who stood in the way as they came forth from Pharaoh 
and they said unto them the lord look upon you and judge because ye have made our savour to be abhorred in the eyes of pharaoh and in the eyes of his servants to put a sword in their hand to slay us and moses returned unto the lord and said lord wherefore hast thou so evil entreated this people why is it that thou hast sent me for since i came to pharaoh to speak in thy name he hath done evil to this people neither hast thou delivered thy people at all then the lord said unto moses now shalt thou see what i will do to pharaoh for with a strong hand shall he let them go and with a strong hand shall he drive them out of his land and god spake unto moses and said unto him i am the lord and i appeared unto abraham unto isaac and unto jacob by the name of god almighty but by my name jehovah was i not known to them and i have also established my covenant with them and to give them the land of canaan the land of their pilgrimage wherein they were strangers and i have also heard the groaning of the children of israel whom the egyptians keep in bondage and i have remembered my covenant wherefore say unto the children of israel i am the lord and i will bring you out from under the burdens of the egyptians and i will rid you out of their bondage and i will redeem you with the stretched out arm and with great judgments and i will take you to me for a people and i will be to you a god and you shall know that i am the lord your god which bringeth you out from under the burdens of the egyptians and i will bring you in unto the land concerning the which i did swear to give it to abraham to isaac and to jacob and i will give it to you for an heritage i am the lord and moses spake so unto the children of israel but they hearkened not unto moses for anguish of spirit and for cruel bondage and the lord spake unto moses saying go in speak unto pharaoh king of egypt that he let the children of israel go out of his land and moses spake before the lord saying behold the children of israel have not hearkened unto me how then shall pharaoh hear me who am of uncircumcised lips and the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, and gave them a charge unto the children of Israel, and unto Pharaoh king of Egypt, to bring the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. End of section 6